Why don't we do this? Hey, the house is on fire. Oh, God, I caught the house on fire again. I'm not going to do this all the time. In fact, I'm doing it almost more as a science experiment. <laughs> I'm not an arsonist, I swear. <laughs> Let's see if we can burn this house down and get full credit for it. While we're doing other things. <laughs> I know it's so f cheaty. But it's for science, man. Seriously. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die with the Rebirth mod and the Purge Overhaul. I'm the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we're going to get started by building our back door here out of our tower. As I showed you in the opening montage there, um, we had the horde came in just moments after I left you guys in the last episode. And um, it was a smaller horde, and some of them got stuck uh, in or behind the car wash. Uh, so they were pretty easy to kill. But as I showed you, there was also our first boss zombie. Um, so yeah, she was <laughs> she was big and she took a lot of bullets to kill. Um, and then of course we got that really cool loot. Also, I found the pumpkin bread recipe in the mailbox across the street as well. So um, yeah, we're gonna get started here. And we one of the things we got out of that is we got a, um, uh, what is this? A, a dexterity boost. And we also leveled dexterity too. Um, so let's go ahead and craft that and we'll give ourselves an injection for dexterity. Okay. And then that gets us to, uh, let's see, 14 and a half, uh, almost 14 and a half percent of the way into level two on the dexterity, which is really cool. Now, um, the books that we need to buy i i'd really like to get parkour in particular 
Um, you know, we can buy those from Bristol, but they're very expensive. I mean, very expensive for us at this point. So, yeah. Um, and we haven't, uh, doesn't look like we've leveled anything else yet besides dexterity and constitution. Very good. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's put this back in here. And what I want to do is... I've got a, a nice little pile of bullet casings, but I have no lead at the moment, so i got to go do some lead mining. Uh, we have 222 rounds uh, currently, plus um, another 90 in the drum, so that's awesome. Okay, so let's go down below. Uh, I had mentioned in... Uh, the previous episode, too, that I was maybe going to try a an elevator thing, but I got to thinking afterwards, well, I'm not sure how that would work because you can't you can't push stuff into a, another crate unless it has some of that content in it. So yeah, I, I so I didn't I don't I don't know how that would work. So we're not going to worry too much about that. However, I am going to put some and I think I already did. Um, I'm going to keep, oh, I guess I didn't. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put some storage chests down back down here just as, as quick drop chests. Um, so that way, you know, if I need to just quickly drop off, I don't have to go all the way up to the top. Let's come over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up 20 blocks in the air and then jump off and see if we can do that safely without taking any damage. Okay. So the first block doesn't count because that's the same level as the hay bales. All right, so let's try this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, really? God damn it. <laughs> Those guys show up at the worst possible time, man. I tell you what. Okay. Well, maybe we'll... Yeah, that's a pretty damn good-sized horde. We got our explosives ready. Um, what we want to do, of course, is get them grouped up. And then uh, we'll blow the shit out of them. And burn the shit out of them. Because we're ready for these guys now. Some of them are pretty fast, too. Oh, and we got some kind of elemental stuff going on. Oops, I didn't really mean to do that. I don't know what that... What the hell is that? If... If they're doing like... Yeah, see, okay. I think the guy in the white... Well, I don't know if it's the guy in the white shirt, but somebody's healing these bastards. So what we got to do is we got to try and single that individual zombo out and take him out. I'm not really... <laughs> with that many of them, I'm not really sure exactly how we're going to do that. But here, let's get down the street a bit. Oh, man, I don't know if I want to... I don't want to do this near my cop car. Yeah, all that purple is... I guess healing. It's The, the question is, which one of them's doing it, though? so many of them that it's hard to tell all right let's get over here and what we're gonna do first of all is this oh look at that man <laughs> my frames are really taken now but they're like all burning oh look at that that's beautiful it's a beautiful sight See, some of them are already dying. Can't quite keep up with the fire, can you? Whoa, shit. Yeah, they're dying and we're looting them. We're auto-looting them. That's amazing. <laughs> Look at the loot coming in. Do I hear a screamer? Oh my god, this is amazing. This is even almost better than using explosives. I think that's a screamer. That sounds like a screamer. Okay, let's get down the road a little ways more here. Uh, okay. 
Okay, we'll come over here. Okay, now... Let's try a nade, too. Oh, shit. We're already another level. That's amazing. The, the Molotovs are the way to handle these. Even, even better than the grenades, because... With the grenades, I have to be... What's that smoke signal? I don't know. With the grenades, I have to be... You know, have to get them clumped up a little bit better to get maximum efficiency. And I kind of have to do that with the Molotovs, too, but not... Not as much. Um, these guys, theoretically, should already be... Softened up quite a bit. And whoever the healer was, I guess we took them out because I don't see... Them healing. Hey, we're level two soldier. Nice. Oh, hey, dude, don't be doing that. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Molotovs are it. And we now got level one in axe expertise. And I, I wasn't counting the ammo, but look at that, man. 254. I'll have to go back and look. On the recording and see how much we started with but we definitely have more i think than we started with plus all this extra ammo that we can trade uh to dristen but i thought i heard a screamer over here too hmm. maybe she uh maybe she was stuck on that truck and got out from underneath it or something i thought i heard her again Okay. Anyway, yeah, that that went beautifully. And how I only use yeah, I only use like four molotovs because I had twenty one in total. I love it. Got a little bit of food out of the deal too. Um and I have a question about these guys. I th we're supposed to bring 50 of these to the guy that the farmer, but how do I get a body bag? I, I can't, it doesn't appear like I can craft just a straight up body bag. Do I just loot them? Like pick them up? We'll have to, we'll have to see if we can figure that out. Um, let's, let's go see something real quick here. All right, so it looks like I have a total of 28 of these things so far. So we're still, we still have a, a ways to go before we can do anything more with that. Um, let's put this stuff in here. And that lead, uh, I'll probably actually just end up selling that because... It's not going to give us enough lead to really shake a stick at. And uh, we can mine lead easily, so. Okay, anyway. That was a, that was a very um, profitable, I guess, interruption. And we got, let's take a look at this real quick. For Warrior, we now have Axes uh, Level 1 which gives us 2.5% more damage, armor penetration, faster attack, and a little more durability, which is great. And we got soldier level 2, which means that machine guns now will start to level. So very, very good progress there. Now, let's get back to doing what we were doing before. Um, They must have hit some of the blocks that were here. So we want to go up, um, let's go up 20 blocks and see if we can uh, fall from that height on these hay bales without taking damage. So there, there's, our, there's one down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
All right, so that puts us maybe a third of the way up the tower. Okay, let's see what happens. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, well, was was I already at 107 health? I I don't know. Here, I wasn't paying attention to that. Let's do. Let's take a a rata tui, and see if that. That should heal us all the way up, because I think we get 10 health from these. Yeah. And then we'll try this again, because I wasn't paying attention um, to my health there. Okay, so we're 20 blocks up. Nope. No damage at all. Beautiful. Okay, so that means that we're going to cut our hole in the side of the tower there at 20 blocks up from the base. I'm going to hop back up here and grab all these blocks. That one was damaged probably from his arm. Okay, so 20 blocks is adequate. Now, down here, we are one, two, three, four, five up if, if we count the, the floor up here. So what I want to do is each one of these little chain link sections are a block. So we need to go 15 up more up. So there's one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so this, so what we want to do here is we want to cut out this piece and this piece. And probably this piece too. Yeah. And then we're going to put a platform here. And let's grab uh, two of these and we'll go uh, here. And we'll grab you. And then we'll go to here. There. All right. We should be fine just upgrading these to wood. Good. All right. So that gives us our platform. Now what we're going to do is we're going to punch a hole uh, through these two blocks here. Oh, man. This is going to take a while. <coughs> All right. I'll see you guys in 10,000 years. Okay. That uh, took a little while. <laughs> my, my hand's killing me. Uh, All right. Let's go up. And I want to make 12 cobblestone blocks because um, we can connect uh, or extend up to 12 cobblestone blocks out to make ourselves a little bit of a bridge. Um, so do we have that in here? Yeah. All right. So let's make 12 of these. And I also want to make an iron door. Um, so that's going to be done in here. Okay, so we'll craft that. Let's grab our blocks here. We'll come back for the door. All right. Now, um, I mean, if I really wanted to make this look pretty, I'd bust that third block out, but I'm not going to. It's fuck that. <laughs> it's still way too much work. Uh so we got we just gotta get hmm, that's a little tricky, isn't it? 
why don't we okay let's try this let's go can we get oh man i don't want to fall and break my leg okay let's let's do this from down below it's not that it's not that far up once we get the first block in place then the rest of them won't be that difficult to do but it's just kind of in a in a weird spot there uh, okay, so we should be able to put you there. And then we can do the rest from up above. If you guys didn't know this, you can tell how many blocks you can attach horizontally before you lose structural, structural integrity. And you basically just multiply the horizontal support by the mass so 10 goes into 120 12 times and therefore we should be able to connect 12 blocks without it collapsing okay that's why i made 12 blocks i just got to be careful that i don't get too far out here and that'll put us just right at the edge of the hay bales or close enough to where it doesn't matter. Yikes. Easy there, OG. See, that one's starting to turn yellow. That one's yellow. But this one, as long as it's not pink. Yeah. If we tried to put one more on there, it would it would collapse the whole thing. Okay, good. Um and you can also see that there, we can't put anything on top of here either, because I mean, it's, it is right on the <laughs> on the edge of being able to still support itself. So we won't be putting rails or anything out here. Uh, we'll just have to be, you know, careful, because <clears throat> you know, careful is my middle name. You guys know that. All right, so um, let's go grab our iron door. That should be ready, and that's all we got to do. Um, however, there is going to be a hard and fast rule if we want this to really be effective. And that hard and fast rule is that our bicycle stays on our toolbar at all times, no exceptions whatsoever. Okay? And as long as we follow that rule, we should be able to escape uh, when a horde attacks us with zero to very minimal damage. That's the theory anyways. Okay, so we're up there doing our thing. My frames tank, even though I can't hear them, and I know it's a horde. So we, we come down here, open the door, and we basically just jump down here. No damage. Throw the bike down, get on, and GTFO. There you have it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I know, it looks weird, but it's functional, and that's all that matters. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back here, and uh, we got a bunch of stuff that we're going to sell. I just have a ton of car parts, um, so I'm going to sell them just to just to make some room. Um, and you guys did remind me in the comments, too, that um, Briston and Elias and the other two guys, once I can talk to them, will buy stuff, too, so we don't have to just sell to wreck, which is really nice. All right, so right now we're at 1769, and um, look how much desks are worth. I mean, metal desks are like one of the most common things. We need to start picking those things up and selling them. I mean, my goodness. All right, so let's sell those. We'll sell them all of that, as many light bulbs as he'll buy. All of this stuff here that you see in my inventory, I've got like just all kinds of overstock of... And I still have more to bring over here, too. I just couldn't carry it all. Uh, we get 330 for those saw blades. That's nice. Um, if uh, you guys didn't know this, currently in the game, um, you can't, uh, or, or the quality of the engine parts don't matter except for headlights. But the plan is... 
in future versions that the quality will matter and they will i'm assuming affect things like you know the quality of the engine will affect speed or gas mileage or something like that um, but right now it doesn't really matter if it's a level one or a level three unless again it's a headlight okay but even you know just that amount got us over 4300 put away your weapon unless you're paying you're leaving Okay. Shit, man. Now I'm gonna treat you that good, and you don't even fuck. I'm gonna go tip, back man. and uh, grab one more smaller load of stuff that I just didn't have room for. So. All right. Uh, will you buy any of the rest of these? He will. He bought all of those. Okay. Uh, so that gets us up to 4,515. So that's the most money we've had so far in this playthrough. Um, Where are we at with Constitution? Okay, we're level one. <clears throat> so we could buy pack mule level one. Um, the first couple of levels of pack mule just open up slots, but later levels uh, add more perks, as you can see, as I kind of scroll down um, the list there. So those could be useful, but I think parkour would re be really nice. You jump over. Over pavement cracks, maybe. Reduce stamina cost, so jump it by 5%, jump 10% higher. That wouldn't be bad to get either. Um, cardio, stamina regens, regens by 5% when sprinting, can walk 2.5. I mean, that'd be useful, but I don't know that we really need that. So that's one thing we could spend some money on. There's also two additional missions we could do from Elias. Um, one would be the alchemy station. Um, and I don't, I don't even know exactly what we use the alchemy table for, um, because there's also a Kim bench too. So, um, in fact, if we look at gas in particular in vanilla, that means the chemistry station. So I don't know, um, yeah, I don't know if that's, uh. Okay, wait a minute. Do we have a chemistry station? Let's look at that first. That's the workbench. Gas. Yeah, right there. The black gold, which we can't do until we're level 30. So I don't even know what the alchemy bench does. Um, and, you know, that would cost us $13.50. The other thing that we could use right now is the gas stovetop. And that's even more expensive, but that would allow us to make a little bit better food. Um, the Crucible Schematic, we can't do it until we're level 20, and I think we're level 12 right now. We can't do this because we're not a Berserker. So, I don't I don't know. Um, I wish... Oh, uh, also, I do want to show you that... The thing that I really want right now more than anything is the distiller, but we have to be... Where is that? Here. So we have to be level 20 before we can, can do this. Right. Okay. I'd rather find one and then fix it. As opposed to, you know, spending money to buy it and having to wait till level 20, but... I mean, if we don't come across one by level 20, we might have much choice, you know? All right. Is there water in here? Yeah, let's let's buy those. You're not bringing counterfeit money in. Look quick, buy quicker, piss off fastest. Piss off fastest. He's got some bullet casings. Um, that's only going to be 97 for 60. That's That's pretty cheap, right? Yeah. Let's buy those. No refunds. Deal's done. Now beat it, fucker. Um. Now we could also. 
We could also go to Thug. And, you know, one of the things that I was talking to Ramsey about on the Discord is I sh he said I could have scrapped those two club books that we found from the drop and used them to craft something else. But, I, you know, I just didn't think about that. But if we... Uh, if we go to here and we look at shotguns, or no. Okay, so so we can craft the thug book fragment. And then that means we could open up the thug class, but I, but we can't switch to that class, or I guess I don't think we can take advantage of that class's perk mod and continue to use ours until we're level six in soldier and we're currently only level two in soldier so yeah i don't i i mean i think it would maybe get us a shotgun so we could have a shotgun to start using it but it won't it will it'll level really slow until we can, you know, put more shotgun books into it. So I just, I'm not sure that that's a, a worthwhile thing for us to do at this point in time. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I suppose what we could do is, wait, well, there's two things we can do. We can just either go, go start doing purges, which we need to do, of course. Um, or we could try one of these missions just to do it. Um, for the hell of it and see what the alchemy table is all about uh or maybe a little bit of both we've got over four thousand dollars so yeah let's buy this and we'll just see what the alchemy table can actually do for us okay let's get you started down the path of alchemy with proper training you'll be able to craft a few potions and elixirs to assist you in your journey through the apocalyptic nightmare let's get you started by gathering a few resources that will help you assemble the necessary equipment by completing this mission i will reward you with the following item blueprint the alchemy table sure why not uh, we gather wood planks, nails, glass shards, and really? That's it? There's not, like, going to be ghostly, robotic, metallic snakes? Okay. Uh, we, m we might already have all that stuff back at the base. Let's go see. I was kind of hoping for some more ghostly, robotic, metallic snakes between you and me. But I guess we can't always have everything we want, right? <laughs> okay. That was just so bizarre. So, it's so unexpected and off the wall, you know? Which uh, made, <laughs> made it really fun. All right, wood planks. We have 236. We only need 20. Uh, 25 nails. Thirty iron. Twenty glass shards and twenty paper. Or twenty-five paper, sorry. Glass shards. I have two glass shards. think there's anything in these those I still have a shit thought of car parts even after all those sales yeah we might need to go break some glass <laughs> yeah we, we're gonna have to go break some glass okay so if we let's see here thug okay so thug book fragment if we oh you know what though i think hmm. this seems to indicate that we only have a half a fragment for shotguns but i guess two fragments for clubs Yeah, I think that's what's going on there. And I don't care about gloves. I really don't. Um, 
I mean, we can make it and sit on it, I guess. Let's just do it. Um, right. Okay. Use this fragment in a thug ranged expertise fragment to craft a book. Oh, right. Okay. So that only gives us half of the book. So we, we need to find one more shotgun fragment. Then we can make the whole book. Then we can open up the class, which I think will give us a shotgun. And, you know, it probably will be just a level one, but. Okay. Well, let's just sit on this then. And uh, we'll see what happens later. Okay. So let's get 25 paper. Uh, oh, wait, what? Why does that still say we have 25 paper? I don't know. All right, we need to go break 18 things of glass. Um, so let's do that and do some purges while we're at it. How are we doing on food and water? We're, we're not in terrible shape. Let's throw back a couple of these. And we have a four water, so we'll throw back... Um, let's just throw back one of those for now. All right, let's go find a POI. Um, this one's a level three. We, I'm, sh I'm sure we could do it, but how much? Well, I got 264 rounds. 37 enemies. Eh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's maybe focus on level ones and twos for now. What's this? This is a level two. Okay, yeah, let's do the honey farm. And while we're at it, we might as well pick all of this stuff too. We're on the lookout for anything that's going to give us um, brass and glass. Can I break these? Hmm, those don't seem to have it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Brass and glass, man. That's what we're after. We want to pick up cash register. Ooh, wow. 122 cash. That's not bad. Uh, the registers themselves sell for a decent amount of money, so we're going to pick those up too. Can we sell camping chairs? No. Okay. Can't scrap them either, so they're worthless. Unless you actually want to use them as a chair. Okay. Um, let's grab all of these. Come on. There you go. Bumbles? It's probably... Okay, there's a song right there. Infected? That is not allowed. We're not infected. Hell no. Guys are down. I don't think we're anywhere near close enough to make one of those genetic mods yet. I haven't really been paying close attention. I've just been looting everyone that we've come across. So, yeah. Uh, we want to be looking for uh, radiators, too. And anything that could possibly give us brass. I don't think... Can we? I don't think we can scrap that in the scrapper thingy. We can check it. Um, I know there were some lights that we could scrap in there, but it's hard to say for sure which ones they were. 
Are these worth anything? Yeah, they're worth a little bit of money. We can sell them if, if nothing else, right? Plus they stack, which is even better. Okay. Let's break those for glass. Uh, that gives us glass too. And then, do we have Zika Roos in here? Sounds like it. You're gonna stick your head down there. I'll shoot it. Oh, he did. That's the. This was the the boss zombie that I killed. Except for she's a lot bigger than that. Zombie Sophia. Goes into the other room there. Uh, there we go. I'm pretty sure these are iron lights, not brass lights, but we'll try it. There's another tape. Grab all of those. Which glass do we have now? Uh, only four? Really? After all that shit? Okay, how much does a laptop sell for? 33. Okay, that's not too bad. We're scavenging for money instead of parts. Oh. Uh, so if we've already consumed this, I guess we can just sell the extra ones. This is not better than what we're currently wearing, except for it has a little more heat resist. So I'm not really too thrilled with it. Uh, this is the shoe rack. That's worth nothing to speak of, so let's get rid of it. Not worth taking up a spot anyway. All right. Let's break all the doors for the brass knobs. We're not supposed to go in here yet, but fuck it. We're going to do it anyway. Oh. Biker Billy. Haven't seen him in a while. Um, there's a couple bad bads in there. Why don't we do this? Hey, the house is on fire. Nice. So is Biker Billy. something out here okay so when the house is on fire like that how come I'm not auto looting him I don't know I mean what a, what happens is the blocks just start to lapse they don't appear to be burning at all just curious it looks like it might be spreading. So let's just stand here and watch it until it starts to touch our toes. Never mind. I was just joking. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it, it's... It looks like... <laughs> it looks like it is slowly spreading. Interesting. Never seen that happen in seven days today. Yeah, the blocks are starting to self-destruct and it is spreading. Um, the last game I remember playing that does this significantly is, um, what's it called? Icarus. Yeah. Things will definitely burn down in Icarus. How interesting. So what happens if we, if the whole damn house goes down and are up in flames and we haven't cleared it? Do the zombies get killed? I mean, I know we're supposed to go back here as a part of the, the quest, but maybe we'll just go this way. Since the house is, you know, kind of on fire. The fat loot's in the cellar over there, so we don't need to worry about that. That's really cool, though. I mean, actually, it's kind of hot. It's really hot. But it's cool. You guys know what I mean. Wow. All right. There's a big mama. 
So note to self, don't light off pipe bombs in your own house. Not a good idea. Let's deal with Big Mama out here. Wow, we woke up more Zeeks over that way. You guys coming out of the Hey, you're the you're the lady that opened the door. Okay. Uh looks like there's four left. Why don't we pop a couple of normal bandages? Just to get a little health back. And maybe we'll also take a rad atui. Okay. So, <laughs> look at that house. My God. That is awesome. <laughs> no, I'm not a pyromaniac in real life. But still, that's pretty damn cool. Or hot. Uh, Alright, so you're... Okay, you're trying to break through here. Zombie. Oh, I thought that said zombie trucker. My god. I thought that said zombie trucker. Wow. It's crazy. You guys are saying, yeah, he's an arsonist. <laughs> uh, no, don't burn all the flowers. Wine barrel set? Oh, you guys were telling me to break those down and they because they have brass in them. Uh, I'd like to hit these stumps though too. Before they all join the conflagration here. Hey, don't get Oh man, that's crazy. Okay. I mean this would probably eventually just spread along the fence and get to the barn, right? I would think. Okay. Let's see if we can get brass out of these. Uh, it didn't look like we got any brass out of them. You guys lying to me? What the hell, man? Okay. Alright, let's go... Uh, I don't remember if there's anything up here or not. Oh, shit. Oh, that could have been not good for us. Let's get the firewood before it turns on fire. Pipe bombs are dangerous, boys and girls. Do not play with pipe bombs in the house. Actually, don't play with pipe bombs anywhere. Leave that to the professionals. We haven't gotten a single damn piece of honey. Alright, those guys are stuck in a backyard. Let's go offload into our bike. Oh, shit. Our bike's not on fire, is it? There's a decent amount of crops in these fields, too. So, I might come back here off camera. Ooh, that's like really close. Uh, and harvest all the rest of the stuff, but I'm not going to do that on camera. All right. Now. Are you guys... Okay, it looks like they're all st stuck down in the bunker. Let's get this corn seed. And we have some zombie closets there with nothing in them. 
some screws. Charcoal. How much is the... Uh, can I... How much is the gas grill to sell? 15? Okay, that's not that much, but... I guess it's okay. Oh, this is the first Ginny we've come across. Alright. Let's harvest that, and we'll fix it up later. Very nice. Um, search wine barrel. No brass. No brass in those. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, you guys told me in the comments I can use a dew collector to water my crops. So let's let's actually hang on to a couple of these and try that out. Um, the crops that I planted, they have been watered by the rain, but that's not a very reliable, consistent way to do it, you know. Okay, uh, do that. Oh, what did that open? Oh, I bet you... Oh, that's what it opened. Okay, it opened the hatch. Now I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, there's one more guy. Uh, sounds like he's below us. Not a single honey from the honey farm. That happened to me the last time I was in this place in vanilla. It's like, what the hell, man? It's supposed to be the honey farm. Dumbo? Oh, there you are. No need to loot him. Okay, let's pick this up for Duke Collector. I don't know how many we actually need to make, but... Uh, all right. What the hell's that? Adult diapers. If you find yourself in need of these, you must have had something you weren't supposed to, or maybe you had no choice. Now you find yourself restricted in your movement unless you want to shit all over yourself. Put these on to get some of your digni back, dignity back and maybe be able to move normally. Right. You know, that shit's not funny when you get to be my age. Kid you not. No, I don't wear Depends or any other adult diapers, but it may not be too many more years before, <laughs> before I have to start worrying about that shit. So, yeah, not funny. Don't laugh. Anyway, uh, nice and nice. And we put that on right now. Um, modify. Huzzah! Wait. That didn't change anything. It's supposed to be plus two armor rating. Yeah, it didn't it didn't change anything, so I don't I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Goldenrod, nice. And shotgun turret, nice. Take it. Little ammo pile here. Ooh, that's good too. Um, Except for, I don't think I want to give up either one of those uh, current mods that we have. Um, whoops, okay. So did we loot everything in here? Must have. I think we're done. There's a little bit more glass. We haven't gotten a whole lot of glass. Maybe a little bit from that. Can this be picked up? Nope. How much can we sell a refrigerator for? 42. That's not bad. How about a television? An old CRT. 
No sell price. Worthless. All right, let's go. Oh, the fire's in the barn now. Yeah, it worked its way along the fence. Crazy. Wow. All right, I guess we're going out this way. Yeah, there's lots of goldenrod, lots of corn. Oh, the, <laughs> the house is gone. Oh my God, look at that. Except for the pictures on the fireplace and the TV. Those are fireproof pictures and TVs. They won't give us any fucking glass either, man. What the hell? Wow. All right. Well, if we ever decide to live in a wood house, we got to really be careful of that shit. For sure. What's this? Is there anything in here? Estimated one entity. Easiest purge we've ever done. Hey, we're level 13. Look at us and our bad selves. This, what does this give us? Cloth? Yeah, that does. Okay. Let's go uh, back to the trader and sell all the stuff we grabbed to sell. And I want to see if we can scrap any of these lights that we looted. All right. Oh, shit. Uh. I didn't want him ruining this gate. Also, you guys told me in the comments that if I press shift enter, I drop my backpack, except for locked slots. And you would do that if you were uncover encumbered and a grizzly bear attacked and you needed to run away. That's, that's why you would do that. So that is handy, very useful. Okay, let's sell some stuff to you. So we want to sell this for $55 make you holla. Why is there a paintbrush on the corn seed? I don't know. Uh, we want to sell the gas grill. We want to keep the generator bank. Uh, we can sell the that thingy. We'll keep the shotgun extender tube on in case we ever get a pump shotgun. And the refrigerator. I uh, don't think I want to sell anything else. Okay. Um, so this, 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 this. Uh, that, that. High performance running shoes. These, uh, this is a recipe for the running stamina regeneration mod which gives us stamina regen two and a half percent stamina regen okay we'll hang on to that um a yellow desk lamp don't think we want to do anything else with the rest of that let's put a few things back in here that we uh don't want to sell just to bring up a little bit of weight here 22 for the cassette tape. Uh, I've got a couple of extra screwdrivers already, so we might as well sell those. We can sell these. Uh, we'll sell the electrical and uh, this and this. Well, I don't think we can scrap that. Let's go see. Okay. 
Yeah. None of the rest of the stuff on our inventory can be scrapped, so we're just going to sell it. Let's go sell it to Elias, because he likes junk, too. Uh, all right, so we'll sell him the fan. Well, that's $38. That's not terrible. 33 50 16 16 and I think that's everything, right? Did we leave anything in here that was glass? Uh, what about that? That gave us iron, not glass. What the hell, man? Uh, here. Okay, there was a piece of glass. Good. Another piece. What's a microwave worth? 66. That's pretty good. What about a toaster? One. Nah. What about a stove? 34. Okay, that's not too bad. Do we not get glass at all from pictures? Um, how much are these worth? $16. Okay, that's not that terrible. Yeah, this is actually a handy way to, to earn some money. Thanks for letting me know that in the comments. I mean, it's not like I didn't know it. It just didn't really occur to me as something to do for making money uh, until you guys let me know. So, okay, there's a little more glass. So that's 10. We just need 10 more. What about this? That's got glass in it. It's giving me nails and wood. You have unlocked chopping tools, iron, fire axe quality three. I think that's what I would have if I wasn't soldier class, but because I'm soldier class, I get a higher level on that because I can make, I can make the, um, you know, the, the green one. All right, let's go up here real quick. Okay, there's a piece of glass there. That doesn't seem to want to give glass. Let's pick this up and sell it. I know I'm starting to get encumbered again. Nope, no glass. No glass. What about this? That's considered sand. Uh, the end table, what's that worth? 16? Okay. Um, this television is not pick up a bull. Let's get the brass off of here. What's a bookcase? Um, I don't think the bookcase is worth anything. I think I already checked this, but let's look. Ah, it's worth 19. That's better than kicking the balls. Most things are. Grab the ceiling fan. So at least we're going to make a little bit of bank today, if nothing else, right? Uh, there was a ladder going up to that attic, but I destroyed it when the horde attacked the other night. Well, we still need nine more pieces of glass. Damn it, Jim. Uh, anything in here? Oh, we missed this cabinet some stuff in there. What about a shower head? Nope, can't pick that up. Okay, I missed that. All right, we'll sell that stuff. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think I'm going to keep the rest. Oh, let's also grab all this ammo so we can do an exchange with Briston. Eleven rounds, nice. All right, let's sell that. Uh, all of these. That gets us back up to thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Yeah, decent way to make some cha-ching, buddy. Bower shower. No water left in there. Uh, let's buy the dog food. 
All right, nine more things of glass. We're going to do it. One way or the other, it's going to get done. I think this is the Fer Faramir residence or something right here. This is probably a two, I'm guessing. Fermier. Yeah, it's a two. All right, let's do this. Uh, where are we supposed to go in in this place? I don't remember. Down here. Not that it really matters, but we pick that up. Zombos? There's a very armored Zombo right there. Even hitting him. There we go. Let the fire soften him up a little bit. SWAT. What's he gonna give us? Okay, we got two rounds back for our trouble. Seven six two. Twelve dollar. Let's hit this. More glass. More diapers. Is the game trying to tell me something? Uh, that got us glass. Nice. All right. Let's check this. Hairs and beer. Uh, what's the matter with me? I'm thirsty. Oh, uh, that's no good. No bueno. Let's also eat this uh, last thingy of meat here, too, and we'll put the... Oh, I don't know. Let's put the that pill thingy down there for now. Okay, we've got some coffee, some water... Potatoes. Mm, I don't think I'm going to take up a slot for something that's only going to give us $4. Uh, what's this worth? $1. <laughs> what's this worth? 15 Okay. How about the soda fountain? Only one? Really? Okay, microwaves was worth a decent amount. Yeah, 66. That's worth a lot, actually, comparatively. Grab this. Um, That might be kind of cool to actually keep as a decoration. Worth $33, make you holla. Grab all these lights because they stack. What keeps bouncing around on the floor? Can we pick up a pool t we can pick up a pool table dude 44 dollar make you holla all right let's go put all this stuff in the bike because we're encumbered then we'll go in further and get beat up some more and waste some more ammo well not waste it but you know what I mean. I don't think this was worth a ton, was it? Yeah, 15. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Gas and gas. All right, we will sell both of those because I already have a bike and I have... At least two small engines. Uh, all right. Let's go back and drop these things off. Seven more glass pieces to go. What I probably should do is just make a temporary drop chest so I don't have to keep coming back here. Uh, all right. Sell.
industrial light. Pool table sells for a decent amount of cha-ching. All right, we're almost back up to 4,000 again. Let's just go through the front door. Bows down. Ah, oh, shit, that's another one of those armored motherfuckers. That's the... That's the mod punishing me for going after... Um, oh, shit. I don't have anything to repair that with. Oh, we're going after um, Zombos that are too high level for me. Let's burn his ass. Okay. Nine entities left. This is where we would have come up. Oh, shit. Nope. No spitting allowed. I guess we'll, we'll read that. What's this worth? Six dollar make you holla? Nah. Uh, I think I'm gonna ditch the clay. That's easy enough to come by. That's worth fifty-five dollars. Not bad. Do I have stuff to make duct tape? Yeah, man, man. Shit. Okay. See, I need my axe to break stuff, though. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go home, drop all this stuff off. And I'll meet you guys back here. And also make some duct tape to repair my axe. Oh, man. It's not lit up anymore. Probably have to wire it. Socks. Chunkin' Punkin'. Fruity Surf and Turf. It's good for you or puts hair on your palms or something like that. Fish, fruit, and mystery mate. Hmm. All right, let's make one of those. Ramsey's Chili Surprise. I didn't say it was a good surprise. <laughs> the surprise is either the salmon or the pears, maybe both. Or that you can't, uh, or that you can actually keep it down. Okay, let's make a Ramsey's thingamadoodle. Quicka chicka chowda. With all the chickens running around, we could have had some real chicken soup, but this was quicker. And if you're eating this, you are probably starving. Okay. Let's let's try all that stuff out, because we can. All right. So the fruity surf and turf gives us 15 food. Um. Ramsey's chili. Oh, wow. That gives us 26 food and nine health and water. Let's save that. Let's eat this. Let's see what this other chicken frickin' thingamadoodle does. In the meantime, let's put the rest of this brass in here. I made a few more 762s. I gotta find a living area for the paint. Okay, that gives 12. All right. We'll just eat that straight up. Oh, we should go check our crops. Yeah, let's do that.
it's Oh, I had them I had to move the mushrooms off the floor here and put it in the thing because they weren't getting water. That those appear to be ready, but I can't I can't pick them. Do I have to like hit them? I guess so. Oh, that's amazing. We don't have to replant the damn things. Oh, I love that. Okay. We only got one <laughs> only got one each though. Um, but they're renewable, right? So, and we have absolutely no skill whatsoever in any of that shit. So can't complain too much, right? Uh, I guess I'll just put the seeds in there for now. Oh shit. 